Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's Springbok squad or team prediction for uh, Wales, which is happening in just under two weeks' time. Russ Erasmus announcing his uh, squad with uh, 11 uncapped players uh, in the squad um, with uh, a lot of players unavailable due to the being outside the international window. So no Bulls players, for example, available. No and players like uh, Andre Pollard and uh, Jasper Beast is not available for Wales. Uh, lots of couple of injuries in the, in the spring box, as well as players based in Ireland and France also not being available. So uh, it's an interesting squad that Rassio Asmus has picked. And I've sort of gone through and tried to pick a potential 23. And uh, I don't think we're going to see a lot of experimentation in that Wales game. We will have to, to a certain degree. But I think we're going to see experimentation come the end of the tour. Because uh, at the end of the day, this Wales test is a final preparation really for the Ireland series. Um, and so it's not going to be about giving players an opportunity. This is going to be about refining and, and getting players to up to scratch for a, an Ireland series, two-match Ireland series, which they can't afford to uh, uh, drop, you know, any points because, um, or any games, because it's a, it's a two-match series. So you lose one game, you can't win the series. Uh, so before we look, I'll show you exactly what I've gone with and I'll sort of justify my selections, please do smash the like on the video. Please do uh, subscribe to the channel as well. This is what I have gone with, and uh, let's go through it, shall we? So I stuck with a lot of the familiar faces. Um, so in the front row, I've gone with Oxen Chair, Malcolm Marks, and Franz Malherber. Um, uh, I don't see Tuka Tunu, for example, starting, and being the other sort of recognized loose head. Um, and so I've kind of gone with that. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, for example, if we might see Vincent Cox start, and, but, but Franz Malherber never comes off the bench. So that's kind of my thinking there. Um, Malcolm Box, I think, will start coming back from injury. I think they'll look to start him and then uh, bring him off after sort of 45, 50 minutes. Um, you know, you can even bring him off after half an hour. But uh, I don't think they're going to take too many chances there. Bongi Manami, I think, uh, will, will, will play. Uh, you know, it'll be those two. That's that's, uh, that's pretty much guaranteed as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Eben Etzebet will start, and I expect him as well to a uh, captain the side. Uh, in terms of locks, not a lot of locks in the uh, the, the, the the side itself. Uh, Salam Murat... Uh, the only sort of out and out lock there next to Evan Etzebeth. Then you've got a Franco Mastered who can slot in there. A Ben Jason Dixon, for example, who can slot in there as well. Um, so I think Franco Mastered will slot back to that in the five jersey. Uh, I think Quaker Smith is going to start. Um, and uh, I've actually got him on the bench as well. I don't know why, why how that, that's happened. But I think but I think that they will start uh, to a Quaker next to PSD at and Evan Ruiz. Um, and uh, then we, I think we're going to look at uh, the halfback pairing off after Clerk and Monty Liebach. Uh, I think I think Masuka will make his debut. I think they'll really look to genuinely give him a chance. But uh, Mike Lieber, they're going to back at the end of the day. And uh, so I think they'll back him to start. Uh, Faf as well. You know, why wouldn't you? You then got uh, Pimpy, Chesen Colby as the two wings. Uh, your other options on the wing, for example, being Edward van der Merwe. I'd love to see them give him a go. I really would. I think he's had an extra tremendous season. I can see him as a long-term member of that box squad. Uh, for me, very much fits the mold. Like a Kirby Orange says, Chesen and Colby. They're not just talking about a wing with a scrum cap. But a hard worker, uh, decently physical, actually good work on defense as well. Makes very good reads. I think he's got Springbok written all over him. Um, I think David Dale and Jesse Creel will continue to send a partnership, an opportunity for them to just gel ahead of that Island series. And uh, fullbacks will be the interesting one. Your only main options, for example, really are uh, Apple Fassi, who's a player for Springboks, and then the uncapped Con Horn, who I really, really do rate. Um, so the other option is if you can go Chesney Colby at full back, for example, you could then uh, put an Edward van der Merwe into the side. Uh, then off the bench, I've got Bongi Manambi, Tukukunu, and Vincent Koch. It's an all Sharks uh, uh, front row. They would have known each other quite well. Uh, I've got with Solomon Murat, and that's supposed to be Ben Jason Dixon, uh, not Koch Smith on the bench. So I think Ben Jason Dixon, I, I, I really rate him, and I think the box will look to try and give him time. Otherwise, the other option there is Pepsi Butelazi. I think we'll go with the 5-3 split, to be honest. I don't think we've really got the versatile players. We need in the back line to, to go with the 6-2, unless you're going to go with like a Sasha Fame and Gomazula on the bench, which I don't think we will. Um, so then the three back line players I've gone with are Grant Williams, Sia Masuku, and Andre Esterhaz. And I would love to see Moe Funnenberg getting a chance. I don't see it, to be honest. Um, but I think they will look to try and give Sia Masuku a, an opportunity because I think that he's also got Spremont written all over him. Andre Esterhaz as well, um, who is available as far as I understand because uh, he's not technically a Sharks player. I think they'll give him a go. So uh, that's what I've gone with. Other options, you know, in the squad, there's Jordan Hendricks are floating in and around there. Um, as mentioned, uh, he also have not mentioned that that is in the squad. Um, Andre Hugo Fenter, for example, Joseph Dweber, I don't really see them being picked um, as well as, a, I think I'm going to have to pop, oh, Nathan Bashir. Um, I don't think we're going to see Nathan Bashir in that team versus Wales. 
What changes would you make to the side? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.